हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फ्यूजन नेक्स्ट जेन लर्निंग इफ यू फर्स्ट टाइम बी ऑन माय चैनल सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट फ्रॉम फ्यूजन नेक्स्ट जेन लर्निंग इन टूडेज डेमोस्ट्रेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन मोर बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट एंड मोस्ट अवेटेड फीचर मोमेंट रिक्वेस्ट approval earlier it was not available within the product now this feature released in the product in 22d and how we can use this feature we'll see that to use the moment request approval what you have to do first you have to go to the setup and maintenance and over there you have to go to the offerings you have to enable features so we'll go to the manufacturing and supply chain material management and we'll click on the opt in feature where we'll enable the feature before going to utilize moment request approval once you click you have to go to the inventory management and within the inventory management you have to click on the pencil icon within the features where you have to enable use approvals for movement request this feature you have to make sure that you have enabled it once the moment you enable it you can use this feature but for that you have to configure movement request approval task so we'll see that for that you have to go to the setup and maintenance and click on search so you have to type manage moment request approval that we have to search so the task name called manage moment request approvals once you click the link system will prompt and will show you all the stages available use to achieve the business requirement these are the stages available within the manage moment request approval task so first one moment request parallel second one is moment request serial third one is moment request fyi and fourth one is moment request parallel first responder means participant so these four options are available what it means if you want parallel approval for the moment request that you can set it up if you want serial that you can do if you want just fyi notification for the moment request that now you can achieve the fourth one is moment request parallel first responder means means the notification will be received by the approvers and whoever approve the moment request first on the basis of that request will be approved so if you see i have enabled moment request approval stage the serial participant to enable and disable you can use this and to create you can click on the edit rules within the rules you can configure what is your rule name and then you can put your conditions also so we'll talk about what all those conditions are available within the moment request for now and if you see that you can set the actions so means either you can assign it to the approval group or the stage the single approver you can do that and then you can associate to the job level you can assign it to single approver you can assign it to supervisor hierarchy or the approval group as well as what we have within the action type we have the approval required automatic and the information on the so according to our business need you can configure all those rules so we configured the moment request approval and we deployed so you have to make sure that whenever you are making such changes within the 
workflow, you are deploying all the new rules. Once you're done, you have to click on done. Now we'll try to perform the movement request. So we'll see that. Then we'll talk about what all those limitations currently have with this feature. So to create the movement request, you have to go to the supply chain execution and then click on the inventory management. Once the moment you click on the inventory management, you have to go to the task. Within the task, you have to go to the manage movement request. Once you click, you have to click on plus icon. And once you click, so earlier, when you try to create your movement request, it will approve and the status move as a pre-approved. Now, once you enable the approval, what going to be happen? It will follow the hierarchy, the rule, whatever you have done the setups. So now if you see that the movement request, the number will be generated. You can put your description. Now what you want, you want movement request transfer or the issue. Now source inventory, I'm using the store and then I'll put the stage. So according to your need, or business use case, you can use that. You can use the issue one also. Now to add the item, the line item, you have to click on plus and then add your item. So I'm adding my item number. Once I add it, then the requested quantity. So you can enter your quantity. Now at this stage, the status is incomplete. Once you are done, what do you have to do? You have to click on submit. Once you submit, the moment request number was submitted. So we'll try to search the moment request number and see what is the status. So if we try, we can see that the line status now moved from pre-approved to pending approval. And within the approval group, Whoever is having the approval rights will approve this request. And now after that, this moment request will be eligible for the picking. So once you click on the bell icon, you can see that the request number is 639982 is pending for my approval in my bucket. So what I'll do, I can approve it or I can reject it. So if I approve, then what will happen that this particular request will become as I approve. So we'll see that. And now if I try to search, you can see that the line status moved to approved. So this is how you can achieve movement request approval and implement it to your business. Now we'll discuss about limitations available within the feature itself. So if we talk about the available for movement request approval, so these tasks available within the approval task attribute. So you can use approval based on the created by, the requester, the destination account, source amenity, destination amenity, organization, item, item category. So within the item category, you can use only inventory functional area categories, item class, the total cost, transaction type, movement request header DFF attributes, as well as movement request line DFF attributes. So these all are attributes available, which you can utilize to configure your approval business approval rules. Second point, note that the user defined attribute is not supported. So generally, if you have such a requirement where you would like to utilize the user defined attribute, you cannot use it. The conditions for the approval task attribute with free text values only support equals as the operator. So currently it supports the equals as an operator. Now within the action types, so these are the three action types. So approval, 
automatic and the information only. And then if you see that the routings are available. So within the routings, approval group, job level, single approval, and the supervisor hierarchy. So these four routing attributes you can utilize. Now, what is the tips and the considerations while implementing such feature? The use approvals for movement request feature is based on a permanent options. If you want approval workflow for all your requisition type movement request, once you opt into the feature, all movement request of type requisition across all inventory organizations go through the approval workflow. The user defined attributes is not supported that what we discussed when creating rules on the manage movement request approval page when defining conditions for rules approval task attributes with free text values only support equals as the operator by default a maximum of 25 movement request lines appear in the approval notification body so this is the limitation as a seeded configuration, the FYI notification is sent to the created by user of the movement request once the request is approved. Customers can modify the notification using BI publisher with the seeded movement request approval notification data model. So if you have such a requirement to customize your approval, you can do that. It's recommended to submit one movement request header for approval at a time using the inventory movement request REST resource. What it means? The REST API support for the approval at a time one movement request header. If you are having the requirement, the bulk, you cannot do that. So you have to do the one by one. By default, users who have access to the transaction console Work area can see all transactions from all product families. What it means, we have already covered this part, how you can utilize the transaction console area where you can have the notifications, you can retry, you can use, so you can refer my earlier videos. So this is all detail elaboration of the 